picture comes to your mind when you think of a nursery? Is it sweet little children sat around quietly listening to a story? Or is it little demons running around touching everything with their paint-covered fingers? The reality is probably somewhere in the middle. Hi everyone, I'm Natalie from My Progression, and this video is the first in a series on working in a nursery. Wait, don't turn it off! This video isn't just for educational staff who work in nursery, this is useful information for anyone who's wondered what a day in nursery is like. Maybe you've thought you might give it a go, maybe you're wanting to start a family, or maybe you're just a bit nosy. Whatever your circumstances, this video is for you. We'll start with how the majority of nurseries are set up. There are usually three rooms in a nursery, and they are separate rooms with a different aesthetic. It starts with the baby room, which is 0 to 18 months to 2. It does depend on the nursery and the development of the child as to when they move into the next room. The next stage is around 2 to 3, and this is called something different in most nurseries. Things like little learners, young explorers, cherubs, basically something cute. Then the final stage is preschool, which they stay in until they graduate. And they do graduate with little caps and gowns and it's so adorable. So what is a day like in a nursery? It's busy. There's a lot going on throughout the day. There's various structured activities that the whole room will be involved with, or even the whole nursery. But otherwise, there are different areas where the children can engage in free play. Free play allows them to explore, build friendships, and have a say in what they want to do. Nursery isn't school. Nursery should feel like a second home, somewhere they can feel comfortable and free to be themselves. It's all about keeping them happy and getting them ready for learning. Now there will be learning activities as they move through the rooms, but this is to support development and encourage them. Most nurseries will be open from 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. When the doors open at 7.30, you'll find a steady trickle of parents ready to hand their precious little babies over to you before they shoot off to work. As soon as you have one sat down at breakfast, another will appear. Once breakfast is cleared away, it'll be time for an activity. These are usually predetermined and sometimes follow a theme based on a book or the time of the year. So it could be potato painting the gruffalo, exploring shapes and textures, number-based games, or making Christmas cards. If it's a particularly hot day, then water play is usually involved. After this, there'll be a mid-morning snack and the children can play with toys, sit in the reading corner, or just run around. Lunchtime will be around 12. After this, there's a nap for the younger ones and then more structured activities for the older ones. There's an afternoon snack followed by more free play. And from about 3.30, you'll start to get parents coming to collect their children. Their tea or dinner will be around 4.30, followed by more play, and then the nursery will close at 6 p.m. As a parent of a nursery-aged child, I think the structure is brilliant, and I'm a huge believer that a good nursery will give a child a great start in life. I know how much it's assisted with my daughter's development. Nurseries will have a number of different roles, requiring differing levels of qualification and experience. You'll have the nursery manager, deputy manager, and room leaders at the top of the tree. And there must be at least one experienced adult who holds a full and relevant level three qualification at all times within the nursery. For the remaining staff, half of them must hold at least a full and relevant level two qualification. Now these qualifications could be a level two certificate in childcare, level three diploma in early years education and care, T-level in education and early years. A T-level is the equivalent to three A-levels. Or a cash level three childcare qualification. Each child will have a key worker who's dedicated to their care and development. There's also a requirement for catering staff who will require a food hygiene certificate. There are specific ratios that need to be followed in nursery. When working with children under two, there must be one adult for every three children. For children aged two to three, you need one adult for every four children. And age three and over is one adult for every eight children, unless that adult holds QTS, in which case the ratio is one adult to 13 children. So who can work in a nursery? As I mentioned before, there are a number of roles within a nursery, and as long as the qualification criteria is met by other staff, you don't need a specific qualification to work in nursery. 
It would always be recommended to gain one though. The main quality you need is to actually like children. You have this amazing responsibility to shape the experiences and minds of these children in their most formative years. You need to want to do a good job and have a real love for the children in your care. I remember the first day I dropped my daughter off at nursery, I cried for the whole two hours. But seeing how much the nursery staff cared for her and genuinely loved her was so reassuring for me. Your main duty in a nursery is to keep the children safe and happy. In baby room and for some children in the middle room, you will be required to change their nappies. Now some nurseries will prefer to have their permanent staff do this, but it's not a rule everywhere. Also, sometimes it's all hands on deck. You'll be required to keep a record of everything they eat, drink, any naps, trips to the toilet, and all bowel movements. This will need to be fed back to the parents or guardians when they pick them up. This video is just the first in the series about working in a nursery. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click on the bell to receive regular updates from my progression, including our upcoming video on how to be a good nursery practitioner. After watching the second video, you will be able to complete an assessment to receive a certificate to prove your knowledge. As always, I've been Natalie, and let's keep your career in motion.